Hello children in this video we will see some interesting examples of comparing fractions Babban has sown 12 pumpkin seeds in his field a few days later he saw plants growing from those seeds Babban became very happy now Babban started thinking that when 12 pumpkins grow out of those plants he will give 1/4 of them to Barbole uncle. He makes very tasty pudding of pumpkin. Children, can you tell how many pumpkins Babban will give to uncle? In 1/4, we have to divide our whole into 4 equal parts. Here, we have a total of 12 pumpkins. So we have 12 pumpkins as our whole. We will divide them into 4 equal parts. If we make 4 equal parts of 12 pumpkins, then how many pumpkins will be there in each part? Exactly 3 pumpkins. Now, what will we do to get 1 fourth part? Take 1 part out of these 4 equal parts. In this way, 3 pumpkins are 1 fourth part of 12 pumpkins. Babban will give 3 pumpkins to uncle. Now Babban is thinking that he will give 2 third part of 12 pumpkins to Chanda as she is his best friend. Can you tell if Babban will give more pumpkins to uncle or Chanda? You can find the answer by stopping the video. Well done children, you have found the perfect answer. First, we will find the number of pumpkins that Chanda gets. To find two thirds of 12 pumpkins, we have to divide 12 pumpkins into three equal parts. In this way, there were four pumpkins in each part. Now, to find two third parts, we have to take two parts out of these three equal parts. In this way, two thirds of twelve pumpkins is eight pumpkins. Babban will give one fourth part of twelve pumpkins or three pumpkins to uncle and Two thirds of twelve pumpkins or eight pumpkins to Chanda. In this way, Babban will give more pumpkins to Chanda. Children, in other words, we can say that the fraction one fourth is less than two third. Babban returned home happily thinking of this. Now, he is at home thinking that he will grow 20 carrots in his field. When those carrots are grown, he will give two-fifth part of it to Bunny and half to Golu. Children, can you tell how many carrots will Bunny get? Is that more than the number of carrots Golu gets? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, you have found the perfect answer. To find 5 parts of 20 carats, we will divide 20 carats into 5 equal parts. In this way, there will be 4 carats in each part. Now, to find 2 fifth part, we have to take 2 parts out of these five equal parts. In this way, two fifth parts of 20 carats will be eight carats. Babban will give eight carats to Bunny. Let us see how many carats will Babban give to Golu. To find half of 20 carats, we have to divide them into two equal parts and then one part has to be taken from it. In this way, 10 carats will be half of 20 carats. Babban will give 8 carats to Bunny 
and 10 carats to Golu. Hence, Bunny will get lesser carrots than Golu. In this way, we can see that the fraction 2 fifth is less than half. Babban became happier thinking about all this. Now, Babban is thinking that when he sells his vegetables in the market, he will get a lot of money. Out of that money, he will buy 25 laddus with some money. Out of those 25 laddus, he will eat three-fifths of it in a single day. Can you tell how many laddus will he eat in a day? You can find the answer by pausing the video. Well done kids, your answer is absolutely correct. To find three-fifths of twenty-five laddus, we will first divide the twenty-five laddus into five equal parts. In this way, there will be five laddus in each part. Now, to find three-fifths, we will take three parts out of these five parts. In this way, Three-fifths of twenty-five laddus are fifteen laddus. Babban fell asleep thinking about laddus. Children, in this video we saw some interesting examples of comparing fractions.